Pythagoras' theorem can actually be used to test whether a triangle has a right angle in it. Pythagoras' theorem says, for any right angle triangle, c squared is a squared plus b squared. This is true for any right angle triangle, but it also works the other way. If this is true, then you know you've got a right angle triangle. And if it's not true, then you know you haven't got a right angle. Let me show you how. Look at this triangle. I want to know whether there's a right angle in it. Well, if there were, where would the right angle be? Well, you have to look at the triangle and go, the right angle would be opposite the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse would be the longest side. So, here's my triangle. This is the longest side. If there was a right angle, that would be the hypotenuse. And this would be where the right angle was. So if I was going to plug into my formula, this would be C, and these would be A and B. And it doesn't matter which order we put A and B in. So let's find out what happens. What is A squared plus B squared? Well, that's going to be 5 squared plus 4 squared. Well, that's 25 plus 16, which is 41. That's what A squared plus B squared would be. In this case, I've got C squared being 7 squared, or 49. So A squared plus B squared would be equal to C squared if it was a right angle. But they're not equal. A squared plus B squared is too short. That means, sorry, I'm looking for more colours. That means that if there was a right angle here with a 5 and a 4, I would actually have, let me see if I can draw this, it would actually be 4 centimetres and only, well, what's the square root of 41? Let me get my calculator. Square root of 41 is 6.4. 6.4. That would be a right angle. That was a pretty messy right angle, wasn't it? Let me see if I can meet that up. That would make it a right angle. 5, 4, and 6.4. The right angle would only have a length this long. I've actually got one longer than that. So in fact, I now know that this angle up here in my original triangle is bigger than a right angle, which means it's obtuse. I just have to test what a squared plus b squared is, have a look what c squared is. This one is too big. Sorry, let me start again. This one, a squared plus b squared, is too small. Sorry, too small. Because it's smaller than that. Therefore, this angle, if it was a right angle, would be smaller. So this angle is bigger. Let me show you another example. 9 metres, 17 metres, 19 metres. I want to know whether there's a right angle in it. Now, don't just trust the drawing, because it's not to scale. Ask yourself, if there was a right angle, where would it be? Well, it would be opposite the longest side. The longest side here is the 19. So that would be the hypotenuse, C. And these would be A and B. And my right angle might be down here. How do I find out? Let's test it. OK. Check what a squared plus b squared is. That's going to be 9 squared plus 17 squared. Which is 370. And 
point C squared is going to be 19 squared, which is 361. So this time, if I have a right angle triangle with 9 and 17 in it, I'm actually going to get something a little bit bigger than my 19. If this was a right angle, it would actually be a little bit longer. The triangle I'm looking at, the black triangle, my original one, this angle is actually smaller because this length isn't quite long enough. Which means this angle here in my original triangle was less than 90 degrees. It's acute. Let me show you a couple more examples. Does this triangle have a right angle in it? Well, don't be fooled by the drawing, it's not to scale. Ask yourself if it was going to have a right angle triangle, sorry, a right angle in it, where would the right angle be? It would be opposite the longest side. So the right angle, if there is one, is going to be there. This is my possible hypotenuse. So let's test it. A squared plus B squared is going to be 20 squared plus 15 squared. which is 625. In C, C squared is 25 squared. Some of you might know your square times. I know this one. It is indeed 625. So that means that these two sides are exactly the right length for there to be a right angle here and have a side here of length 25 millimetres. These two numbers match exactly. So this is a right angle. And I know I have a right angle triangle. One more example. Here's a triangle that doesn't have nice numbers, nice whole numbers, but that's okay. The same method will work. If it's going to have a right angle in it, where would the right angle be? The right angle would be opposite the longest side. This is the longest side. Again, don't be fooled by the drawing. This is the longest side, so the right angle would be there, opposite the right angle, opposite the longest side. Well, then that would be C, and these are A and B. Let's test it. A squared plus B squared is going to be 24.82 squared plus 7.23 squared, for which I will definitely need my calculator, plus 7.23 squared, 668.30. Okay, let's check C squared, 26.17 squared. Which is 684.8689. Okay, let's look at that. A squared plus B squared is too short for this side. A squared plus B squared, if there was a right angle there, it would be a smaller line here than I've actually got. It would be smaller. Now you might not think it looks like that. Again, don't be fooled by the, draw by the drawing. It's not to scale. Work out what you're doing. This, with a real right angle, is shorter than I've actually got, which means this angle is obtuse. Be 
it's bigger at 90 degrees.